Sun is out and so too are the faithful fans. They and Andy Murray know the big prize isn't far away. But before he's in that final, the small matter of beating Roger Federer. So whose side are the crowd on? Come on so much in last couple of years and he's worked hard. I love the way he plays. He's just a great ambassador for the sport. The passion, that's what we've seen, seeing the passion coming out. I always, I always love Federer and he's, to me, he's the best player. He's on fire this, this season, so Team Merry all the way. Yay! <laughs> As for Andy Murray, he arrived looking confident, ahead of many of the VIP guests whose support he can count on. Sienna, will Andy yeah. do it? Will he do it? I hope so. This How do you think he'll do it? I think I win, yeah. I do, I do. Do you think Murray can do it? Yes, I do think he can do it. Why? because he's a bloody good tennis player. <laughs> so how do the two rivals compare? Well, Murray is the younger of the athletes by five years, but sits below Federer in the world rankings. When it comes to Grand Slam titles, the Swiss has considerably more than the Scot, who is 17 to his name. Murray's only won Wimbledon once. Federer, on the other hand, has won it seven times. And as for their worth, Murray's earnings stand at around £24 million, with Federer's nearly twice that. During the Olympics, Murray did manage to thrash Federer to win gold. But the experts say back then the Swiss had had a strenuous run up to the match. And this year is very different. This time he's actually played three hours less, in fact more than three hours less uh, tennis uh, than Murray. So there's absolutely no excuses for him to be tired. He'll be fresh as a daisy. Uh, that's not really going to come into it. So I, I, you know, again, you'd say that points to a pretty tight match. They walked out onto centre court with the knowledge Federer has never lost a Wimbledon semi-final. So this is Andy Murray's chance to make history and book a place in the 2015 Wimbledon final.